These two are the ones that are from the set, the Scalectric set, and not the two separate ones that you buy separately. So I'm going to review these and tell you all about them and what I think. I bought these with my own money, um, so it's my opinion. It's only my opinion, so you don't have to take it too seriously. But I hope you enjoy this type of video I'm going to about to do. Please ask me questions. Feel free to do any comments you want in the comment box. That's what it's all about. Um, and I'm not going to waste too much time and explain to you why I'm giving these a 6 out of 10. Because these are actually really excellent cars. And you're thinking straight away, why am I giving them a 6 out of 10? And uh, well, watch this review and I'll hopefully by the end of it, you'll kind of guess why and see why. Um, so here we're going to start. Um, the cars are 10 out of 10. But overall, the 6 out of 10 is, well, all right, listen to this. Why these cars are different from the single packs because I saw the boxes for the single packs and I was utterly disappointed because Antoine Anton Senna, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but there's pronunciation, is one of the best racers of all time, if not the, the best racer, and Scale Electric done really poor show with the boxes. It's not about what you've done in the past. It's what about you're currently doing and what you're currently charging on your website for the cars. And the only reason why I got these cars is because I was lucky enough. I, they're brand new, but I got them with no box. Otherwise, I wouldn't have purchased them for the price because I think it's an absolute rip off um, that scale electric are chop what they're charging for these single cars singly so that's one of the reasons why in terms of value for money um i think it's a bit of a rip off so you've lost the point there also i think it's a bit crazy how you put no information about senna on the box of the cars uh, because there's going to be some teenager out there whatever who buys the car they know nothing about Senna or the history, and they're just going to be like seeing these cars uh, for the first time and think nothing of it. But I'm going to talk a little bit more about Senna in the next part of the video because I want to sort of make up for that because it annoyed me so much. Um, but I also want to say that these are lovely, lovely cars. Um, but if you another reason why you're getting a point down is because you look at the back lights here there's no front or back lights you've got a small little car here and it's february 2023 um so the price of these are high if you're buying the single leg single versions i was lucky i got these off ebay from someone who is off their that main set and I got these really cheap, really reasonable um, for them to come without the box. And I know that the single boxes are terrible. Um, so I was just like, I don't care about not having that box. Meaning I have run these cars. I've not put them on the shelf. I've run them. I've raced them. I've put them through their paces. So I'm going to let you know all about the performance of them. You've got other um videos on youtube that open the cars and stuff like that so they're awesome some guys are doing that out there so you can check that all out um i try and do something a little bit different on my channel uh so there's something for everybody but yeah so i just want to do one quick comparison for you um uh so i can get it out i just want to show you right i'm going to zoom out here and I'm going to put this car in the mix quickly. Look at the size difference of this car, right? Okay. So in terms of like modern scale electric cars and stuff like that, like this car is fantastic. I just have to say that to straight up. But I'm getting front and back lights on that car. 
So here guys, I just wanted to show you in comparison in terms of value for money, right? Look at this modern scale electric car, right? Look at the size difference, right? Because I don't want anyone in the comments telling me about going on about licenses, making excuses for licenses or um, engines. These two engines are really good, by the way, for the new Formula One cars. Excellent. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want any excuses in, up in, in that. I'm just straight up telling you that like, I love Scale Electric, but they they have there's some words that I probably can't say in the video that in terms of what they're doing with the lotuses is like I can't believe they can be getting away with it. I want to know what people think of buying the actual single versions because look, I get this cheaper this one cheaper i get front and back lights really solid engine it's a it's got bigger it's more material to it so it's going to be more expensive in terms of like if you're going to go about producing something it's bigger it's it's bigger it's chunkier so um i hope you get what i'm trying to say here in terms of like you get no lights with this um well what on earth are they playing at also Another gripe of mine is, um, I was born in the 80s, so I know that when these came out in the 80s, like when you have the vintage Formula 1 cars, they had lights at the back. From the turbocharged booster, um, from back in the day, it would like fire out loads of fire and stuff like that. And they, in the vintage versions, um, I wish I had a picture of it, they would have that light there. So if they were doing that back then, why haven't they done it on these ones? And I'll tell you why. It's because they are taking the absolute... And I can't say that word. Um, so that's really frustrating um, for me. And that's why I'm giving them a huge mark down. Because they know people want these cars. Um, and they're going to make money on it. But it comes to a point of like... Well, yeah, I'm one of these people that I'm not putting up with it. The only reason why I got this is is because it was an eBay job. Um, I'm not going to buy these single single versions of them because, uh, yeah, for for those kind of reasons. So anyway, I I hate talking negatively, um, but I've always said that I'm going to do an honest review. I always keep doing honest reviews, um, and that's just the one negative part of the video. Now the rest of the video is going to be all about posit positivity because Senna is like one of um, the best drivers of all time from Brazil and I want to chat a little bit about that and that's that's what it's all about. That's why I've uh, bought the cars in the first place. So stay tuned and let me just show you how these uh, bad boys are running. And by being a racing driver means you are racing with other people. And if you no longer go for a gap that exists, you're no longer a racing driver. Because we are competing. We are competing to win. And, and the main motivation to all of us is to compete for victory. They're coming down to the S's now, which is about halfway round the last lap. And very sure they had been a run a bit wide and goes up onto the curbing. Mantle is going to be on the rear wing of the black and gold.
everyone, here we go. Let me show you this car. So, going around there, I'm just going to do a few laps while um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about uh, Anton Senna. Antoine Senna de Silva was born in Brazil and uh, <clears throat> if you don't know a lot about racing he was way more than just a racing driver and you can tell that by uh, his funeral. They gave him a three day funeral uh, mourning process in Brazil and that's for a Formula One driver. He gave millions and millions of pounds away to poor people in Brazil. Um, he was well loved there and I think 25 years later so if I'm not getting it quite right, but it's about 25 years. You know, he's still well celebrated there. You can see pictures of him all over, like uh, posters and you know, flat, big flat buildings in Brazil, and it's all over billboards still after this time. 65 pole positions. 65 pole positions. Can you imagine that? Um, he managed to get. He won the Formula One World Championship, Drivers Championship three times. Uh, I think 1988, um, 1990, and 1991. Uh, he won that. He won 65 Grand Prix in total. Um, the list goes on. You can watch more videos about what actual, you know, loads of stats about Antoine Senna. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a glimpse of this guy. And also, what other drivers said said about him, not just um, like uh, me talking about it, but people like the best of the best. Michael Schumacher, David Coulthard, <coughs> Lewis Hamilton, all these amazing racers have said, and you can see them on interviews and they ask who's the best driver ever. They, they'll tell you and you see the interviews, you don't need me to tell you. They say Anton Senna, because if you watch a lot of his stuff, um, the grip of the car, he knew instinctively how the, the grip of the car, but also the cars were different back then. This was manual, manual. Can you imagine that some of the horsepower of these cars, they match in, today's Formula One cars, in terms of horsepower, this guy was doing it manual, all right? Um, so you don't realize um, how hard these cars were to drive, and to drive them fast is uh, something else. Also, like you see when I was watching Jeremy Clarkson on Top Gear, he never rated Antoine Senna, but then after studying footage and footage of his races, then he realized, right, now I realize why a lot of people say this guy's the best uh, racer ever. Um, so that's going on a little bit about <coughs> uh, him and his achievements uh, and what I wanted to say there about that. And I want to tell you a little bit more about actually the performance of these cars now. I've driven these in uh, my, my professional racing uh, joystick my normal scale electric ones I've not changed anything out of this these have been out of the box and um, no wheels changed no nothing and let me just show you acceleration here so you can see that acceleration so from there show you acceleration there acceleration is excellent especially on my other controller I do like still driving them on my scale electric one because these, these cars got faster. I've done so many laps with them. Their engines are well running now. Uh, they've got faster as I've driven them um, more. Or oh, hopefully I can still push this. Can I get still a yellow one round? Will it creep round? Oh, just about. Uh, but, and also in terms of sound, uh, they're so smooth. And I don't mind, I'm not displaying these ones or anything like that, so you can see I don't mind giving them a tiny bit of a bash. Oh, it's just still wanting to look good. But <clears throat> this yellow one here is picking up so much pace since when I first got it. The engine's probably getting really uh, run in now, and it's just got quicker, quicker, and quicker. I love the way these guys go around the corners. Uh, the paint job on them is not perfect. I wasn't happy with some of their helmet uh, paint jobs. It's a bit 
was a tiny bit dodgy. Normally I wouldn't complain, but again, going back to what I was saying at the start, value for money, your expectations are higher when you pay so much for a slot car. Uh, but luckily for me, I got these off uh, the internet, eBay job, and no box. Um, so I got these at a real good steal. So I'm testing these cars, crashing them about. Performance wise, I have to say I'm happy with them overall. They're really nippy around the track. They will smoke some of my other scale electric cars. Let me just show you acceleration here on this one. Acceleration. There. Acceleration here. Look there. There you go. Boom. There you can see it's pretty decent. There. Obviously I get a bit of be better response when I'm going on this controller, but I just did the, uh, this one today, just the way it is. Uh, my son goes on both as well. It's pretty good at scale electric. Uh, but I just want to show you, so you hopefully this sound has come up there for you, and I'm not waffling on too much, but, but I just put out my Carrera, listen. And then if I get it up here, this one. Hopefully you can see the sound there on that. The engine on these cars are really, really good. Um, you've got other videos on YouTube that will open up the cars. You can actually check that in details. Um, yeah, so generally on the whole there, I think I've uh, said what I needed to say. Um, got my gripes about these cars which I said so still um, I'm afraid of giving them a 6 out of 10 uh, they're a bit, a bit, bit fairly bitter uh, muck my words up there if they were better value for money um, you'd, give, you'd give them a 9 because I have to say um, the performance on the cars they're very very good but I'm still getting better performance out of some of my other scale electric cars uh, so they're not quite up there with some of the other ones. I've done other reviews and all of that lot. You can see them. But these actually, I've done 2022 my best cars. And unfortunately, I think these did come out in 2022, but I've just recently got them. It's Feb 23. These wouldn't be on my 2022 hit list. They wouldn't have made it. Um, so take what you will with, with that. But I'm still happy with them in terms of what I got for them, how much I paid for them. But yeah, if I paid the full whack from them from Scale your website, yeah, there's no way they'll be on my 2022 uh, top 10. But yeah, you can see they are very good cars, a lot of fun to drive. Very fun to drive, at. I'm underrating that a little bit. They're very fun to drive and they're You can definitely have some lot of fun and races with them, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, hope you enjoyed that one today. There, just give you a little bit of a close up there. Hopefully, that that's coming out. Um, I forgot to show the back there, so you can see the bottom part here of um, where the gear is placed and the braids and stuff. Um, lovely, lovely cars, you, you know. Good and bad points on this one there. Um, but yeah, they are, I am happy with them, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, mixed feelings, mixed feelings. You let me know. Put some messages in the comments. I'd love to hear what everyone else uh, thinks about these cars. I really would know. Am I just being a bit funny about it? Oh, who knows? Just uh, write some comments for me. And uh, let's have a chat about it. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Lap 63. Look at this replay of what Senna go for it on the inside. And what Nigel Mansell say. Oh, no, you don't. I suspect Nigel Mansell is grimly enjoying this. Because this time, being in the lead, is 